Before puberty even begins, how can clinicians tell whether a patient with a cloacal anomaly will be able to have normal menstrual outflow? I'm Lizzie Lee from Cincinnati Children's and this is an article you should know about. Up to 40% of girls with cloacal anomaly develop menstrual obstruction and the consequences can be serious. So this research team looked at whether saline perturbation, basically flushing the Mullerian system out with sterile saline during abdominal surgery, could predict future patency. They reviewed 20 years of patients and found 79 Mullerian structures tested. Here's the striking thing. Saline perturbation had a very high sensitivity of 96%, meaning that if the test showed patency, the patient was unlikely to develop obstruction later. On the other hand, it has low specificity, so an abnormal test does not guarantee future obstruction. In summary, this technique may help identify which girls are low risk for future menstrual obstruction. Let us know what you think in the comments below and stay tuned for more articles that you should know about.